Hillary Clinton is basically the revenant. Hillary and Leo have both been trying to win for many years and they'll do anything to get there. Eating animal organs was basically Leo's Benghazi trial. Donald Trump is basically Mad Max Fury Road. Donald Trump and Fury Road are both loud and in your face. If you go and see them, you can expect to hear a lot of noise and screaming for two hours straight. Marco Rubio is basically Room. Room features two characters struggling to adapt to modern society. Kind of like how Marco Rubio's campaign features an anti-gay platform struggling to adapt to modern society. Ted Cruz is basically Brooklyn. Just like all the characters in Brooklyn, he's very good at telling women what they should be doing. Bernie Sanders is basically the Big Short. Both Bernie and the Big Short have a deep hatred for Wall Street bankers and keep hitting the same point over and over for their whole runtime. John Kasich is basically Spotlight. They both have very important things to talk about, but neither one's really bringing any new solutions to issues we've known of for a very long time. Ben Carson is basically The Martian. In The Martian, Matt Damon is a doctor trying to conquer the Red Planet. Ben Carson is a doctor trying to conquer the Red States. Jeb Bush was basically Bridge of Spies. Jeb and Bridge of Spies both marketed themselves as high energy and intriguing. Think Jeb, exclamation point, and Bridge of Spies. But neither of them could live up to the hype of their titles. Hillary and Leo both almost won nearly a decade ago, before getting beaten out by a black guy. Donald Trump and Fury Road are very unconventional candidates who somehow got really popular despite just being a series of ridiculous stunts. Nobody on earth thought Matt Damon's character was alive. And if you watch the debates, you probably thought the same thing about Ben Carson. Brie Larson's character in Room is eager to get out into the real world, but cracks under pressure when she does. Marco Rubio is eager to campaign like a real candidate, but cracks under pressure when he does. Early on, Jeb and Bridge of Spies both seem like they'd be frontrunners, but compared to all the other choices this year, they're just too boring and traditional. After watching both Bernie and The Big Short, you're gonna call your parents and be like, you have to see this, it's so important. But they're probably not gonna get past the style and mutter something about a liberal agenda. Ted Cruz and the characters in Brooklyn are both bewildered by New York values. No one's saying Kasich and Spotlight shouldn't win. Normally, they'd both be very serious contenders. This year, there's just way more exciting options to choose from. Trump and Immortan Joe both have the same type of followers. Very angry, very white men. Both Christian Bale's character in The Big Short and Bernie Sanders have legitimate points, but nobody takes them seriously because they seem kind of crazy. Brie Larson's character's life was ruined by an aggressive man who forced her to repeat the same routine day after day in a single room. Marco Rubio's campaign was ruined by an aggressive man who forced him to repeat the same point over and over again in a single debate. There it is. Matt Damon couldn't get off Mars because of a science mission gone wrong. Ben Carson couldn't get on stage because of reasons science can't explain. Hillary and Leo are both the front runners who are likely to win, but rising challenges are causing them to adopt a sort of underdog narrative, even though they're both totally establishment. The characters in Brooklyn and Ted Cruz are similar in that they're both white immigrants. Like, really, really white immigrants. Is Ted Cruz white? Jeb and Bridge of Spies were both very safe, conventional choices created by some established names. Unfortunately, they were also much less exciting than earlier productions from the same people. Even if you hate it when frontrunners win and you want something a little less conventional this year, there's no denying that both Hillary and The Revenant are qualified and top-notch contenders. 